yesterday was the 15th anniversary of Tyson Douglas. She said this would be a far bigger upset than that was. I think most would agree. Layla says when she does lose a fight, it's going to be against someone who's undefeated. Well, there, there have not been competitive fights so far tonight. You don't need me to tell you that. And in my Tank estimation, this does not figure to be a competitive fight. Geiger is game. She's bigger than Ali. But I do not think she has any of the talents or abilities to fight a competitive fight with Ali. That's one of the things that makes the sport so interesting, to see if somebody like Geiger can hang in there when they are overmatched like this and see what they can come up with if it was a very, very special night, or as Teddy, your number one on your fight plan that I don't believe I've ever seen before is simply get lucky. Get very lucky. Geiger has lost at the level Ali has easily won at. Geiger has lost three in a row. Earlier tonight, we saw Letitia Robinson, who many expect to be next in line for a shot with Leila Ali. Of course, many in the fight game have been screaming for a Leila Ali and Wolf fight. That fight yet to be made. You can see early on that Ali taking the time, her technique. We won't even go into break, the talent break, break, area. Her please, please, technique, please. much superior to Geiger. Geiger making herself available. Ali has not taken advantage so far. There's a nice short left hook on the inside. Geiger leaning forward, falling forward on the inside. Ali would serve herself well by stepping back and throwing the uppercut, allowing Geiger to fall into that punch. Working behind that jab now. Two-minute rounds here in women's boxing. Want to remind you of that as we come to the end of round number one. Leila Ali, 19-0, scheduled for 10 rounds against Cassandra Geiger. My sister was murdered. She talked about demons. He was her only hope. Atlanta putting her title on the line against Cassandra Geiger round number two they are scheduled for 10 right hand comes in for Layla see the punches in round one a 22 to 5 advantage they pick up the pace here early on in round number two you know Layla Ali Teddy has actually at times dazzled those CompuBox stats against Valerie Mahfoud in 2002 she threw an average of 70 punches per round and that's in a two-minute female fighting rounds so if you Equate that to a three-minute round, that's an average of 105 punches per round. One thing that served Geiger a little bit, she's much bigger. She's fought at 183 pounds and over four times in her career. As heavy as 202 pounds, never below 170 pounds, which is what she hit the scales at tonight. Ali Smaller, super middleweight, entire career, except for three fights. So possibly the size of Geiger could allow her to do that, absorb well, and maybe hang around. She's already pulled off an upset for tonight's bout, or tonight's show. We're in the second round. You're watching Friday Night Fights from Phillips Arena in Atlanta. Joe Tessitor and Teddy Atlas with you. Our main event, Layla Ali and Cassandra Geiger. Layla Ali wearing the white trunks with yellow trim. Geiger in the black with white trim tonight, scheduled for 10 rounds. Ali, of course, undefeated in her pro career, 19-0, with 16 knockouts. The only thing holding Geiger in this fight now so far is that Ali is throwing one punch at a time, not two. Landing the right hand, but not doing as we suggested in the tips. Not coming back with the left hook. When she does that, it might be good night, Geiger.
real million dollar baby in terms of endorsement deals out there in women's boxing makes more out of the ring than she does in the ring we're in the white with yellow trim against Cassandra Geiger very likable veteran got a late start to the game you see the punches in round two one thing Ali has done by not putting punches together just one right hand, you saw it right there. No left hook behind it, and no problem landing the right hand against a straightforward Geiger. But Ali has allowed Geiger to stay in this fight, and even to some extent, with her limited skills, to gain confidence. You can see Ali knows that Geiger has heart, that she's tough, so she's going to the body, trying to take some of that toughness out of Geiger. Watch. Layla Lee didn't exactly have the princess fairy tale life that most say she had, or what you would think. Her parents divorced at age seven. She struggled for much of her teenage years, even was in trouble with the law and a credit card fraud at one point before turning her life around. Went to school, went to college, her owned her own nail salon, and then started fighting one night when she was watching Christy Martin said, you know what, I could do that a lot better. And she has through 19 fights. Looks like they banged the heads. Yeah, you can start to see above that left eye now. Cassandra Geiger. Geiger, 36 years old. Ali, 27. Quit holding and hitting. Break. Step back. Break. And right now, Ali allowing it to be a slow enough pace to serve Geiger. Tries to come in with the right hand, but instead, Ali able to score well. See that and swell. turns her back totally out of left field. And she heard the banging on the mat for the 10 second one and thought it was the belt. was a little mixed up. She heard the banging on the mat for the 10 second warning, thought it was the bell, started walking back to a corner, turned the back, was lucky that she did not get caught by Ali. Funny expression on the face of Layla Ali as she looked over at referee George Ship, as if to say, what in the world is going on? And eventually Ali said, I'll take it into my own hands and just go after her. You see the punches through round three. Second the time, George Ship. Second Teddy morning. scorecard, three rounds so far in the bag for Layla Ali. Ali had no amateur fights. Been on the job training. Give her credit in a couple areas. One, she's got good genes. She has athletic ability. The other, she took her craft. I'll give her credit. She took her craft seriously. She got a good trainer, former world champion, former junior lightweight champion, Roger Mayweather. Got in the gym. And she learned the technique of boxing. She paid her dues as far as that goes. She went in there and took it seriously, respected the sport. She still shows her noviceness every once in a while. There was a good move. She got off a couple punches and then spun to the side. Kept her advantage. Kept good position. Now she's landing the punches at will as Geiger shows the game as we talked about. Also shows she's a bigger woman and she's absorbing well. But she also shows that she gets insulted if you miss her. The old timers would say Geiger is harder to miss than to hit. Needs to learn it's okay to duck. She's not gonna learn it tonight. Ali needs to put punches together as we talk about the tip. She has no trouble landing the jab in the right hand. If she puts the left hook behind that right hand. Go home. And that old one-two just scored moments ago, and she's closing out this fourth round with plenty of them. Ali scoring well at the end of this round. From the last round, all Ali action. 
nothing complicated. She moves her hand, she finds the target. Here you can see we talked about it earlier. Geiger just walking forward, no defense, no head movement, and leaning a little bit, Joe. If Ali, as I suggested earlier, would step back and let Geiger do some of the work for her, she'd walk right into an uppercut. A well-placed uppercut by Ali could really make this a shorter night. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas, round number five, now glad to be joined by Lucia Riker. Lucia, what does Layla Ali do that impresses you? Nothing. Okay, what does she do that doesn't impress you, that she needs to work on in your eyes? She has no explosion in her hands. She's pushing her punches, and that's why she can't get her out. The girl's doing nothing. She's just walking forward. She has no angle. She can't turn her around. She's backing up, and she's pushing her punches because she can't fight backing up. She should have knocked this girl out. Right, step back, this girl has please. no footwork. She, her legs are straight. She's just walking straight forward with a push jab. That's all she does. And some left and right, uh, right swings. That's all she does. So Clouding at... herself. This is very difficult for, for Lila to move backwards and angle on her. She doesn't create enough space here. And the girl looks flat, flat footed, straight legs. She should turn around and knock her out. So, Lucia, stage. let me ask you a question. With the stage being set by you, as you just said it very well, when is the fight with you and Ali going to be made? When? Since you just set the stage very well, yes. let me ask the only question I think we need to ask now. When is the fight with you and Ali going to be made? You know, I had an offer. She turned it down. So it's up to her. It's in her corner. Well, Lucia, thank you very much for your very blunt insight here in round number five. Doing a great job tonight in studio with Brian Kenny. Ali now behind that jab, trying to put those right hands between the guard of Cassandra Geiger. They're scheduled for 10. Geiger went the distance with Ann Wolf back in November, just about halfway through with Layla Ali. when she goes to the body, I'm going to be looking for that uppercut. Well, you have to of, see it. Well, one of the novice things, and that's a good point. I'm glad you brought that up, Joe, because I started to talk the last round. One of the novice things that Ali does, and let's remember she had no amateur background, is every once in a while she'll lose eye contact with her opponent. She will lean. Watch it. She will lean forward. She will fall forward and even squat forward every once in a while and take her eyes off her opponent. She just did it there. And that can be a very dangerous practice inside that ring. You never want to take your eyes off your opponent. You can be vulnerable and vulnerable to a punch that your mind does not have time to pick up. And that's because of her lack of experience in the amateurs, I believe. She still gets a little excited, she still hides a little bit, and she'll fall forward and disconnect with her opponent. That straight up guard from Geiger. Ali finding ways to get around it and get through it. Almost another clash at heads right here. There's a clash that's earlier in the third round, and that's the swelling above the left eye that you see of Cassandra Geiger. See, Geiger doesn't move ahead at all. She just walks straight in. So it's just a matter of putting the punches together, and you're going to find her. If she, she handcuffs herself by just blocking, she allows you the liberty to be a combination puncher. She can't do anything while she's blocking. Or in Teddy Atlas with All you right. from Phillips Arena. Teddy, obviously, I mean, it doesn't take a brain surgeon to realize this. There is a lack of depth and competitiveness in women's boxing. How do you solve really? that problem? Yeah. How do you solve that problem? Is it as simple as developing a good, strong amateur pro 